Seamus Maguire, um, what will is it? Uh, Tarman Barry. Tarman Barry um, is a mind jester. So uh, prepare to have your minds uh, thwarted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, a big round for Seamus. Hey. I was here last year, so I, I recognise a couple of faces, so it's, uh, it's great to be back. Um, and it's a lovely backdrop here as well, it's a nice pink, I think you said it was like space. So, yeah, it's, just, it's pretty good. Um, I'll, do, I'll, I'll introduce myself quickly, uh, for those of you who haven't uh, met me before. Um, my name is Seamus McGuire, and I'm a mind reader. Okay? So just like um, when you see the music musicians that are here later on, uh, they have to warm up and they might play a few scales or tune their instruments. Singers might have to stretch their vocal cords. And, uh, you know, professional athletes might have to stretch their legs, that kind of thing. Any professional athletes? Yeah. No. <laughs> 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 professional athletes. Um, so I, I, I have to warm up as well. And the way I warm up is, uh, it's much more exciting, I do math. So is, is anybody here, does anybody here like maths? Peter no, likes maths. Like maths? Anyone else? Uh, I like maths. maths yeah? Do you like maths, yeah? yeah like maths. Okay. So people who like it, we call it mathematics. <laughs> so it's, it's numbers and stuff. So what I'm going to do is, if anyone has their phone on, you can take out your phone and take out a calcu the calculator. Okay? Um, and we're going to do some simple maths. It's a little bit more complicated than, uh, than addition. Um, and subtraction. So, um, is everyone here familiar with multiplication? Yeah? yeah? Okay, excellent, that's good. Um, so, if you can pick a number between 1 and 100, okay, and multiply it by itself, okay, that's called squaring a number, okay? okay. Then multiply it by, by the original number again, that's called cubing a number, okay? And you should get an answer. So, people can put up their hands if they now have an answer. Yeah. 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 Okay, you've got an answer. So if you could just read out your answer. 140,608. Sorry, that's what I wrote. 140,608. So if I was to try and, you know, reverse engineer that back to the two digit number, uh, it's, it's, it's more difficult than it looks, okay? Um, but I would imagine. Does anyone else get it? I, it's, what, what did you get? 140,000. No, what was the original number? I'm not saying it first. <laughs> oh, well, I've got it written here. I'm committed. It's just if I get it wrong, I don't have to show it. <laughs> <laughs> How about we both say it at the uh, same time? Go that work? I got 52. 52. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyone else get it? Get it? What number did you get? Oh, uh, my phone just went off. <laughs> <laughs> 175,616. That's the same number I got. <laughs> 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 but that's quite close to his, isn't it? It was quite good. close to his. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. It was like about yeah. four digits away, was it? He got 52. Yeah. Yeah. I got 56, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, what's your name there? Those are Kira. Kira. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's correct. And um, what? <laughs> <laughs> what was the final number that? Two hundred and fifteen thousand and forty-seven. Sorry, two hundred and fifteen thousand. Two hundred and oh, fifty thousand. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Zero four seven. Zero four seven. So it's like two five zero zero four seven. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Do you, do you, do you saw you. Yeah. That's a pretty good skill. Yeah. That's good. I so can I get it right? Eighty three. So sixty three. Yeah. Okay. Sixty three. Yeah. Okay. And. I use these opportunities to give out these cards that I have. Um, so, it's one thing trying to do maths backwards. Uh, I'm glad that worked actually. But um, I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, and this lady here is going to help me. 
You don't need to do any math. It's okay? <laughs> so much easier. Um, what's your What's your name? Sharon. Sharon. <coughs> Sharon. With an S, yeah. Sharon. Yeah. Um, Sharon, could you say just for for a bit, everybody that's here, nice and loud, just say the first two digit number that you can that you think of. First, Twenty-three. Twenty-three, and. Is there any reason you picked 33? 23. 23, okay. Is there any reason you picked 23? No. No, at all? No. But there obviously is, because Brendan spoke to us about... Where's Brendan? Yeah. Brendan spoke to us about the subconscious and all that, so... That decision was already made, right? Well, before yeah. she said it? Yeah, yeah. So will you read out the idea? Will you, will you read out the number that... Um, 23. 23. Wow. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I know it's, it's pretty common, like, one in 500 people pick 23, like so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you pick 25, would you? Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> Um, a, lot, a lot of what I do is kind of reading people and just responding to, to, to how they, um, things that they say and that kind of stuff. It, it's very difficult to predict what someone's going to do, okay, as we all know. Most of us can't guess what other people are going to do. Even if we think we know what they're going to do, we don't know for sure. But guessing what someone has already done is a little bit easier, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate now, okay? Everyone kind of baffled? Yeah, yeah good. That's, that's part of it. So I'm going to, I'm going to look for a volunteer um, to help out here. Someone who... Um, I think actually it's customary for the artist to get involved here. So. <laughs> you. How did I know that you were the artist? Yeah. <laughs> you were the only person who looked at me. That's what you get, that's what you get for looking at me. I thought it was more so the fact he's already been up here and made an ass of himself. So, I don't know if you're familiar with these symbols. They were used in Duke <clears throat> University to, um, in an experiment to prove that telepathy doesn't exist. Okay. So we're going to use these symbols. Did you say doesn't or doesn't? Doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't. Yeah. Well, that's it's only a hypothesis. Yeah. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to get you to pick pick one of these that you kind of like. Okay. They are all different, obviously. And um, I'm going to get you to pick one of these that you like and maybe put the rest of them, you know, under here or something. Okay. So I'm not going to show you. No, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it behind my back and then I can stand here and I can talk to you then without okay. looking around. So, would you, would you take one, and that you, one you like, uh, and you can hand it to me. And you guys just make sure that um, I'm not kind of like peeking at it or anything, okay? So, uh, and I'm going to ask you a question, mm -hmm. alright? Um, so, the question I'm going to ask, so, if uh, reincarnation exists, okay, if that was a thing, and I'm not saying it's not a thing, but, you know, it could be. If reincarnation was real, and you had to come back as an inanimate object, mm -hmm. okay, what would you choose? Someone's going to throw their chair is going chair, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? They tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I that's a really interesting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right, um, okay, strange. Um, but see, I, know, I already know a huge amount about Brendan here. Okay, I know your name. I know you're an artist, and you gave us some really <coughs> meaningful words about your process and all that, which really helps as well. And um, so, artists, as we know, are very creative people. Your answer wasn't that creative, but you know, <laughs> that's okay, you're under pressure here. And creative people have a tendency, okay, to, um, to think beyond themselves and reach, reach to new heights. Would that be right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I mean, it's really interesting that we have this painting here, and that uh, this little guy here, who loves the number 25, said that it looks like space. You said that looks like space, didn't you? So I'm pretty sure that you would. Choose. You can just kind of nod if I'm on the right track here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving away anything. Oh, okay. You're going to 
clear the work. Okay. Well, creative people tend to pick stars. Okay. Would I be would I be close in saying that? What did you say about stars? Star creative people tend to pick like star shapes. Would I be close with that? In relation to the other ones, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. And is that why you? That's why you picked, was it? Yeah. The star. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So, but it, it is true that creative people tend to choose the star. And the other images there, uh, just in case you ever want to play this game at home, nothing else to do. We do it all the time. <laughs> um, I got showed it to my wife once. So that's all she's like. So, a circle me, you know, means someone's well-rounded. A plus is they're positive. Um, you know, uh, water, they like to go with the flow, a uh, square, I'm glad you didn't that one, but, um, and the star is creative. <laughs> okay, so um, I, don't, I don't know how, how much longer we have left, but uh, yeah, you're right. Right. Ten minutes. Okay, okay, okay. Ten minutes. okay cool, so um, I, uh, there was two people that, that I was talking to earlier on, um, and I might get you, can you come up here and sit on this stool? You sit on the chair. Would you prefer a chair or a stool? Or you want to stand? Stand. Oh. A chair, stool, or stand? Oh, no, I'll sit on the table. Right. She chose the stool, okay? Yeah. Fine, interesting. So, okay. uh, so, so, um, so earlier on you thought of a, a four digit number, which yes. may be your pin. Maybe. Okay, yeah. okay, but we're not going to tell them, obviously, yep. because, okay. So, can you put your hands out like this? <laughs> Yeah, perfect. Both hands. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to just put my fingers like that. Now, this is one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Yes. Okay, can you just focus, don't move your fingers, but focus on the first digit. Okay. Remember? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Still just moved. Yeah. What do you think? Okay. So, <laughs> I'm not picking not up a zero. Is there a zero in the no. digits? No. Go. Focus on that digit that has the number. Okay. Yeah, I, it, it could be a nine, it could be one. Okay. You're wrong. Okay, <laughs> right, let's go to the next one. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's it. Is that a two? No. No? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> At least I'm getting to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm getting a really strong, a strong feeling of the number six. It's in there, but it's not the second digit. No, it's, but it's, I'm getting a strong feeling of six. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to give away too much. Okay. Obviously. But is the number six in there more than once? Yes. It is, is it? Yeah. So it's not the first, it's not the second, no. but the last two digits is six yes. and six, yeah? Yes. Okay, all right, I'll go with that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's basically it. Okay. Um, it's not really exact science. Okay. Um, so the, the other person drew a picture. Can you come up here? And we'll. Um... Do you want it? Picture. I want. I know, but you want your picture. Uh, you, you don't. You don't. You don't. So I think. Um, Sarah. Sarah, yeah. Um, I think Sarah, um, you know, you're just probably not very good at sending the information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you drew a picture earlier on. Can you? Is that wine? Yeah. She's bringing the wine up with you on stage. I don't know. Okay. Can you? Um, can you just give me your? Are you right? You're a right hand, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Can you give me your right hand? So can you just imagine? The, can you remember what you drew? I know you've had a whole glass of wine. Okay. Just imagine the picture. Okay, don't move your hand, I'll, I'll move your hand. Just close your eyes and imagine the picture. Imagine elements of the picture. There's, that was one of them. Is that making any sense? The first one, but not that. Picking something up like that. Is that, is that making sense? Yeah. Okay. I think this is, you can open your eyes, because you might fall over. Um, I'm getting kind of a kind of a. Don't think it's so. I'll, I'll show you what I picked up, but I have a few other 
thoughts coming to me. Um, there was a sun, yeah? yeah? And this, I, I don't think that's water, is it? It's not water. It wasn't waves, was it? No, don't say, don't say, you don't have to say anything. It wasn't waves, was it? <laughs> <laughs> it, it it's, it's more like a, it's like a, in the distance, was it? Kind of like hills or something. It's more hills. Sorry, and there was something in the, on these hills. No. It wasn't? No. <laughs> okay. But the, so I, I got this kind of wavy thing. Maybe it is maybe it is water it was water, yeah? No, I actually was not sure what the... You don't know what it is? <laughs> okay. That's no wonder I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this is basically what I got was the sun and kind of wavy things. I got a sense of distance. Um, can, we, can we have a look at your picture if you don't mind? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what, what was it? Uh, there was actually one. Yeah, I forgot about it. <laughs> okay, okay. So there was something there. That's yeah. It. I had it over here though. I, that, that's, yeah, that was right there. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that. There was a sun and some birds as well. Is that a tree or something? No, it's not that well, but it's pretty the birds is interesting because the birds is kind of like people that travel a lot, you know, we draw birds, so it's pretty obvious enough from down the wall. Excellent. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs>